from the Empire Play Show. We're back in Cooperstown, New York for the third straight week. We did New York Pizzeria, we did the Boca. Tonight we're upstate bar and grill. We're heading inside to meet Art and Joe. It's a big night here, the place is beautiful. I got steak, I got burgers on my mind. It's gonna be a fun night. So come on, follow me inside and see what they got planned. Time, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna check my phone. We'll check some baseball scores while Katie's trying to find her stuff. Let's see. I got it. I was in the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we go back. All right. All right, so we're back. Try so what are, you, what are you doing now? All right, triple play bunch. We got Bacardi. We have Malibu, Captain Morgan, and then a little bit of grenadine to give it some color. Okay. And uh, let's go have at it. Uh, she's just taking over. You know what? Taking I'm just gonna over. leave her. Let her do it. I'll, I'll I got this covered. Time. All right. Cherry, orange, I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> and there you have it. Very good, thank you. All right. Took a lot of work to get here to finish this, but. And she's getting a novation over here by the peanut gallery. They just like it, so. Is it good? Yeah. That's really good. Refreshing, oh, right? That's refreshing. Great job, Katie. Thank you so much. All right, so we got our drink. Already put our order in for the food. We're gonna hit the kitchen, see how it's made. I'm gonna enjoy my cocktail. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. Cheers up. Okay, I'm with Art at the Upstate Bar and Grill. Art, how you doing? Doing good, Bill. Good to see you. Dude. If this guy does look familiar, New York Pizzeria, we were here a couple weeks ago, but now we're at the Upstate. And a uh, little different vibe here, a little different Absolutely. place. Actually, a lot different than the pizzeria. So let's talk a little bit about the history behind this place. Okay. Well, uh, as you know, by being at the other two restaurants, that we kind of had the Italian angle cover. Mm -hmm. So coming into this facility here, we knew that we were going to kind of have to do something a little different, kind of go with an Americana theme. Uh, but before we even got to preparing everything that we were going to do here, we went through this entire facility to refurbish it all the way around, up, down, in and out, all around, and uh, with a rustic theme, mm -hmm. wood, brick, tin. So the ambiance of our facility is noticeably different than our other restaurants as well. Right. So not just the menu, but the overall experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so we took over this facility in 2016, had okay. our grand opening in June of 17. And uh, with that, we introduced it to the community uh, as a place that has actually been here functioning in this community for about 60, 70 years, maybe longer. Uh, and we knew that there was a value in that to the local community. And so this was kind of a, a way for us to, to show our gratitude to the community here and supporting our family businesses for the last 10 years. Yeah, now what was this place before? It was called the Pepper Mill before that. Oh, and yes. even before that, the locals have educated me that it was actually called the Ridge Room before that. Okay. So there's a noticeable history. I have seniors that come into this restaurant that say that they've met their significant other here when they were in high school yeah. or they used to work here. We're talking 60s and 70s. Sure. So there's a lot of history here. Yeah, it's awesome. Really beautiful place. But now let's talk a little bit about the menu mm -hmm. and the type of food you guys got here. Yes. So what do we got? Well, we have an Americana theme. Okay. Uh, obviously the chef is, uh, so, so the history of this coming together is an entrepreneur, a chef, and a brewer. Okay. So we, we, you know, my brother-in-law, Joe Vesa, who's the owner of the restaurant, was the entrepreneur. Uh, Mark Harrington is our executive chef, and he and Joe collaborated together to prepare the menu that we have. Uh, we have uh, different steaks, salmon dishes, fish dishes. Basically, we're covering a wide gamut. Uh, not only are we offering big plates with the steaks and, and the fish dishes and things, mm -hmm. rib dinners, uh, but we have salads, wraps, kids menu, uh, sandwiches. And before, I've been in this business for almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. I never knew a burger had so much personality until I came here. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's what we're doing next. We're heading to the bar. We're gonna get a couple of drinks made. Then we're gonna order some food, see how the stuff's prepared. I'm looking forward to a fun well, night, man. We are too. Always good to see you. Yes, likewise. We appreciate the blue. Thank you. Alright, 
what do we got tonight? Okay, well, we're gonna start off with one of our popular appetizers here, which is our pow shrimp. Okay. It's a battered shrimp that we deep fry, and then it has a, a sweet and sour sauce that we put on it that's homemade, very good. Okay. One of our customer favorites. Uh, we have our pork tacos, mm -hmm. uh, hand pulled pork. He roasts the pork by hand, pulls it apart by hand, marinates it, and then prepare it for tacos. Nice. We have our maple bourbon bacon burger, which is newly to our yeah. new, new to our menu. Okay. Customer favorite, and it's only been on the menu for three months, and people can't stop talking about it. All right. Then we go to a couple of our big plates. We have a traditional New York strip steak with okay. our homemade creamy mashed potatoes, fresh sautéed vegetables, and then we have our Tiras Major, which is a uh, thin slice sirloin steak that's roasted and marinated in its own juices, mm -hmm. prepared with the same accompaniments with the creamy mashed potatoes and sautéed vegetables. Wow, looks amazing. Wow. Looks can be deceiving, but I'm been told it tastes just as good. I can't wait to try. Thanks, buddy. You're Appreciate very it. Enjoy, guys. All right, all right, guys. So we got our food. We're gonna start to sample some of this stuff. So first, I'm gonna take a bite of this burger because this is this caught my eye. is one of my uh, my top choices. Talked about it coming up. Was dying to try a burger tonight. And just a tech, this is really heavy. It's a very heavy burger. Like it's got the Upstate logo on it. So it's got the homemade bacon jam on it. It's got the bacon cheese. Let's see how this thing tastes. Wow. Juicy as can be. I, I mean, it's just extreme juicy. That bacon jam is perfect. But then you got that crisp bacon and onions on it. I gotta tell you what, this might be one of the most flavorful burgers all together. Wow. And, and Lop's trying one of the fries. See him grab that? Catch that? All right, we gotta try it. Mm. Gotta try the pub steak. This looks fantastic. And I, I, I talked to a few people at the bar. They liked all my choices, but they said this is the steak to go to, so. Mm. Wow, great taste, cooked medium, just the way I like it. But all those juices stay right in the steak. Cooked nice and, uh, cut up nice and thin. Great flavor, wow. It is super, super tender. I think I picked the right choice this time. So, we're gonna eat, get to our dinner. We'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, I'm with Wendy and PJ tonight. How you guys doing? Doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to be here tonight at Upstate. First time here for us. So we're looking forward to it. So what is it about this place? Why do you guys come here? I love their draft beers. Okay. And the variety of different foods. And it's wide open space. So what is about this place? What do you like about the Upstate? Oh, you can feel it. The, 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 uh, the ambiance. Is that what they yep. say now? They yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's, 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 you get a good feel in here. You get to get good food. Uh huh. And it's easy. It's a, it's a beer and bar food. That's yeah. good. In, a, in an upscale place. Exactly. Now, what did you order tonight? I ordered the Hangover Burger. Not yet, but it's coming. It's coming. That's it's got the fries. That's got the egg on yeah, it. It's <laughs> so, is this your spot here at the end of the bar here at the Upstate? Do you guys have a spot here? It kind of is. The bar is a nice little place to, to get away at the end of the day. It is. It is. So, Upstate Bar and Tavern. What do you guys like about the place? What brings you here? It's a fun family environment. We like to hang out, see everybody. A lot of locals come here, so we'll relax after a long day. Yeah, and food-wise, what do you guys like to order? You got a specific thing you go after? Yeah, the burgers are nice and simple as well as the salads, but the nachos are really to go. Is that the pork nachos or the pulled pork nachos or the regular nachos? You can go chicken or pulled pork, whatever you like for your flavor. What do you, what do you suggest? I suggest try them both and see which one goes. Yeah, Carl says just try a little bit of everything. Everything goes. What do you like to get? I like the chicken wings, especially on a Sunday. Chicken oh, wings, yeah. lots of flavors, nice and crispy. That's awesome. Well, guys, very nice to meet you. Thank you for coming down tonight. Thank you. All right, guys, we just finished up our final show here at Cooperstown, the Upstate Bar and Grill. I want to thank Joe and Art for an amazing thank you, night. Sir. This thank was you. awesome. It's our pleasure. And, and Joe, I want to thank you for letting us do the New York Pizzeria, the Boca, and here. Everything was amazing. And I got to tell you something. I don't say stuff on camera too often. If I don't mean it, probably one of the best burgers, one of the best burgers we have ever had in New York State. Thank you very much. Hands down. And you're going to go into the contest section. We're getting your name oh, in Oh, yeah, there. for sure. It was phenomenal. All right. 
The food here was fantastic. The atmosphere is absolutely gorgeous. We met a lot of great people here. They got an amazing staff. The place is always busy, so you're definitely gonna wanna come and check this out. Make sure you like their Facebook page. You can check out all the specials they have. They have a beautiful bar, but come down and check them out. Unfortunately, I gotta leave for the night, but I'll definitely be back to visit these guys. Come check them out. I'm Bill Vinci, host of the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great night.